Hey guys! So depending on how well you know me, welcome or welcome back to my channel. To introduce myself to all the newcomers over here, well, my name is Lily and I recently started working in the Maldives as a resort worker in the front office department. And I'm basically making this video to share how my experience has been so far and also to give you guys a little bit of insight. I've just completed my first month, so although not a long time, I kind of get the gist of how island life is like and I kind of want to share that with you guys for those who are interested to also maybe join the similar industry. So in no particular order am i gonna name the pros and the cons i'm just gonna say everything that's on my mind so grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's get chatty first pro for me about working a resort is the food is planned for you so as someone who is super lazy and trust me when i say this i absolutely despise thinking about what i'm going to eat the next day i struggle so much with planning all these things like don't get me wrong, I like the idea of cooking, but I don't like physically doing all the work. So working in a resort kind of takes away all those stress because when I finish work, I don't have to think about, oh my god, I have to shower, I have to freshen up, I have to cut the vegetables and I have to cook them. No, I just finish work, head to the restaurant and all the meals are there. Not only that, but when I was living by myself in other countries prior to this, I also was just purchasing food from outside all the time. And being in a resort obviously takes away all those financial responsibilities. So I am saving so much money from food now. I get more money to spend on other things. Now on the flip side, that could also be a con to most people. For those who enjoy the idea of cooking or just having meals that suits their taste bud, or those with very specific dietary preferences, obviously the meals that the hotel or the resort provide you every day might not be the perfect meal for you so for example in the resort that i work at obviously there is more non-veg options as opposed to veg options if you're someone who eats purely veg obviously your options are more limited and that could be a huge con second pro for me is that no more rent to pay so rent has always been the biggest portion of my monthly salary and now living in a resort with staff accommodation provided i'm not spending any money on that so that is just fantastic for me additionally we can also call the hr and he will arrange the room boys to help us clean the rooms once in a while and yeah we also get laundry services for the bed sheets the pillowcases and all that sort of stuff. which in the real life obviously you'll be spending so much energy money and time on all the washing and the cleaning and the drying so that is just very efficient for me now on the flip side this could be both considered a pro and a con is that because there is going to be more staffs than the managers and out every staff is qualified to have their own private little room so it's going to be shared accommodation with one or two roommates this could be a pro because you get to make friends from different departments and you get to share your days at the end of every day but it could also be a con because if you just want some private space in your room after a really tiring day then that is kind of not possible with people coming in and out at all times especially if your roommate is having a completely different schedule with you let's say you want to sleep at night and she has night shift so she'll be like taking a shower washing getting on calls in the middle of the night and that could be a disturbance for you but yeah at least as far as i've observed in the Starbucks accommodation that i'm in everybody's time schedule is pretty aligned and the hr kind of selects the people with the roommates according to that so yeah that really just depends on how you make friends and how you coordinate with your roommate i guess i've been living by myself for the past month because the room that i entered was originally empty and my new roommate will be coming in three days so i'm kind of excited kind of scared i'll keep you guys updated on how that goes the third pro for me is that you get to be part of a close-knit family there's only so many stuff on the island so Truthfully, you actually see them more than you see your actual family, so they just kind of have a special bond with you. And in most companies, you usually see your colleagues from 9 to 6 and you don't really know them personally and you just see them on a colleague basis. But over here, of course, you work with them and then you see them like after work and you get to have fun and see a different side to them and learn about who they are behind the job title, which I think just makes us more human. But now, of course, on the con side is that you see your colleagues every day. So if you're trying to take a night walk like after your work and you just want a peace of mind, you're taking a walk through the forest and on the left you see your HR, on the right you see your general manager and you keep going and you see the housekeeping department and the other maintenance department and like 
everywhere your colleagues are just around you and you can't really have your own private space and of course like in the outside world if you do something stupid in the middle of the road you'll never see those people again but here if you trip or fall or something like that your colleagues are all just watching you so yeah good thing is that you get to see your colleagues every day and they can be really good friends the bad thing is that you actually see your colleague every second every minute and also like the good thing is that you get greetings every single day Every time you walk past a colleague, they'll be wishing you good morning, good afternoon, which is a really nice environment to be in. But the bad thing is if you're really, really tired and you have to upkeep that energy every five minutes with a greeting, yeah, that could be exhausting. Because I've had days where I'm like really low on my energy and I just want to put my head down walking with my phone and everywhere everybody's greeting me and I'm like, oh, I don't want to be a bad person. So like, hi. Now the next pro I have to mention and I obviously have to tap into the romantic side is that if you're dating someone on the island it is freaking fantastic because you get to see them every single day and also there is no room for them to physically cheat on you because well you have all the common mutuals all the common friends all the common colleagues on the island if they do something shady the entire island is going to talk about it so at least you can rest your anxiety on that um yeah so it's just also nice because you don't have to coordinate plans on a monthly basis which as normal people in normal relationships do most relationships that i know of people just meet their partners maybe once a week once a month maybe twice a week if you're really lucky but here if you're falling in love with someone you get to see them every day again similar thing on the opposite side you get to see them every day it could be mentally draining as well and you could get tired of each other pretty soon so my advice is just date someone that works a different shift than you so then you guys don't see each other as often and well distance makes the heart grow founder the next point i have to mention kind of correlates with the first two points that i talked about which is also about the money aspect so because there's a limited amount of items on the island you will not be spending too much so in the real world i'm saying a real world as if i'm living a simulation but you guys know what i mean like on the outside world where it's not island life if i see a pretty cloth while i'm doing shopping for something else i will get distracted i might just end up making more and more purchases as i go along the shops but over here because there's no shopping malls there is no places for you to just spend your money mindlessly you go to the staff shop you might see like two packet of chips one packet of noodle one bottle of water and you're like eh, i just want the bottle of water and yep your money just stops there you don't end up buying more and more things now on the opposite end of course the limitation of items is also a con because what if you want to purchase some nice snacks for movie night with the girls and you only have two options the way i go about it is that literally today i went to Mali and i made a huge purchase of all the toiletry supplies and the necessities that I know I would need for the next couple of months so I got like huge bottles of shampoo, huge bottles of conditioner, soap, toothpaste, perfume, makeup so yeah I'm well stocked right now and that is a good advice for you too and if you don't plan on going out of the island then you can always ask somebody who is going out of the island to bring you a few things and then you can pay them accordingly that's another hack so make some good friends so you can use them <laughs> the next point i want to talk about again is a pair of pros and cons and that is so the weekend system over here is that you get one weekend per week i'm not sure if it applies for other resorts in maldives but i've applied to a few and they've all told me the same thing so yeah you get one day off per week but most people don't take that off day so we accumulate four days all together by the end of the month which is exactly what i'm doing right now so yeah i'm taking these four days to create as much content as possible so i can spread them out throughout the whole month so yeah for me that is a huge pro because i love traveling and i would love to travel to a new place at the end of every month whether it's in maldives or whether it's a neighboring country i think four days i could really make use of that so having the flexibility to accumulate those holidays is really beneficial for me and not only can you accumulate four days if you want to work for two months straight you can accumulate eight days and then go to a further country and visit your hometown so i think that is pretty nice in my opinion but of course on the con side is that sometimes work can be really really exhausting especially during high seasons so yeah sometimes you just want a little break you just want to ask your manager if you can take an off day and they can probably tell you like oh there's a shortage of stuff and we really need you so could you push through a little bit and get your off day another time next is perhaps the most obvious one the pro being you get beautiful scenery to look at at all times literally working in the front office is such a blessing because right out of my sight i will be seeing the beautiful trees the flowers the wind is blowing across the sea and people just having fun in the water and the water is always so clear and so blue so that is such a beautiful sight to wake up to every single morning and it makes me feel energized for work but on the opposite end is that 
you see the same view every single day. There are no new buildings to see, no graffiti walls, no desert, no new animals. It's just the same, same view. But yeah, if you love the oceans, you would love working in the resort life. If you don't like the oceans, or if you're someone who gets bored of things easily, then you might want to reconsider that. The last point at the top of my head is that as a staff, you get a lot of staff privileges, discounts, and benefits. But on the flip side, you don't get as many privileges as people think you would get because we still have to pay for the water sports or any activities that we want to try. And for example, with the resort that I'm working with, staffs are not allowed to go to the spa because uh, obviously we want to prioritize guests and guest experiences. And the spa, there's also a limited amount of staffs. So if they're helping the guests already, they can't be helping the staffs as well. Well, and we don't want to work overwork them which is completely understandable right but yeah sometimes like for us to actually attempt some activities there has to be a lot of procedures to ask the higher management and for approvals and there could also be a waiting time and all that sort of stuff so we don't get all the facilities but we do get a good amount of things for us to try so yeah that's pretty much all the pros and cons that stood out to me during my one month over here as the days go by i'm going to be learning more things and i'll have more things to share with you guys so Leave your questions in the comments below if you have any more. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this where I just talk about my work experience because let's be honest, walking in the Maldives is pretty cool.